Hey guys, welcome back. So today we have a new flight controller from Skystars. We have Skystars F7 Mini HD Pro flight controller. And before I begin this video, I would like to tell you guys that this flight controller has been designed by myself in collaboration with Skystars. And when I use the word design, I mean everything except the core electronics. Now core electronics is something which is managed by their own engineering team. So that being said, without wasting any more time, well, let's jump to the video. Now let's see what we get inside the packaging. We have a DJI A unit cable and then we have two types of rubber grommets and then two 4 in 1 ESC cable. Now we have two different kinds of rubber grommet. We have the red one and the orange one. The red one is for the M2 mounting pattern while the orange one is for the M3 mounting pattern. Now we were the first one to invent this design but sadly there are a lot of brands who have already copied us. Now this is how China works. We can't really do a lot about that. But I won't be mentioning name of those brands. You guys are smart enough to figure that out. Now I've spent around two months while developing the pad layout for this FC, and I can say it's simply the best out there in the market. In the front, we can see we have a camera section over here, and then we have the analog VTX section and the RX section over here, and then we have all the DJI pads given over here. And this is your GPS section. It contains the SD and SDL all kinds of pad. And over here you have a barometer for your barometer functionality in better flight and all the remaining parts have been given over here now if you are going to flip the fc we can see we have two different kinds of jumper the first one is in case if you want to use the inbuilt pit mode or not if you are going to use the inbuilt pit mode then user one is default and over here you can select the voltage for your vtx in case if you want to go with 5 volt or 10 volt you can simply configure it and here we can see we have a black box memory flash which is 16 MB in size and here you can see we have two different kind of BEC now this is your 5 volt BEC and this is your 10 volt BEC and here we can see we have a TVS diode now this TVS diode is for your 5 volt as well as 10 volt protection and if I'm going to try to show you we can see over here we have a BMI 270 gyro now this BMI 270 gyro has been kept isolated from any kind of power line be it 10 volt, 5 volt or VBAT which in turn is going to give you a very smooth performance out of this gyro without any heavy or aggressive kind of filtering so that's it for today i hope you guys like this in case this video was really helpful for you please consider subscribing to this channel it really helps me a lot thank you guys